better upgrade to the Bones and Clones Mega Monster Deluxe Game version, or your life will be a living nightmare. <laughs> Or something. Hey, Miss Minnie still has her lights on. Uh, let's go down there. Uh, Splinter, that old witch really is a witch. Just goes to show you never really know who your neighbors are. Uh, I bet she blew out our lights with some kind of spell. Yeah, in fact, she could be casting a spell over us right now. Uh, uh, what does the Bones and Crones game book say about witches? It says you gotta capture a witch to break her evil spells. Come on! <laughs> as soon as she opens the door, we run. Uh, that's my favorite part. What are you little yard monsters up to? <laughs> if I wanted a hammock in my tree, I'd get one myself. And what's that? Littering my yard, are you? No, uh, we were playing a game. And, and there was a big gust of wind. Uh, the book flew out the window. And we had to come get it back. You like games, do ya? Well, I happen to know lots of games. Quit your catawalling. We're gonna play Guess What's for Dinner. See if you can figure out what the main ingredient is. <laughs> I've been wanting to have you two for dinner for a long time. So, did you guess what the main ingredient is, huh? Did you? She's gonna eat us. No, she's gonna cook us. Don't you even think about leaving. It's all stormy outside. Uh, well, uh, we were, uh, uh, uh just gonna uh, wa wash up for dinner. Good idea. I like a nice, clean dinner. Bathroom sat <laughs> Hmm. Jumpy little tykes. We gotta get out of here. Mention barbecues. Apple keeper occupied. Oh, there you are. Where's your brother? It's not dinner without him. Uh, 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 he's um um just washing up. Good. Cleanliness is next to tastiness. I always say. <laughs> Playing my game first. Oh, one pepper! She's got awesome powers, man. This could be our last chance, and we got surprise on our side. I'm dying for dinner. Hey, what the? What? Stupid game. <laughs> Took 
took me six hours to put this thing together, and it's just too darn scary for them to play. Now who am I gonna get to help eat my vegetable stew? <laughs> we almost didn't make it. We gotta tell someone. Wally! You're the last ingredient I need for my woodpecker stew. Uh, he's got Uncle Woody. We gotta stop him! <laughs> you dropped him, mister! We've had all the weirdness we're gonna take around here! Hey, kids, what's up? Uncle Woody? But we thought Wally was making woodpecker stew! One bowl of stew for the woodpecker. So, do you think it's good enough to win the neighborhood stew cook-off tomorrow, Woodpecker? Yours is definitely up there, Wally. Come on, kids. Let's go taste Meanie's stew. Oh, no! Oh, we're not going over there, Uncle Woody. Have it your way. That just means more stew for me. Know what I think, Splinter? That if we keep being such scaredy cats, we'll miss out on one of oh. Uncle Woody's best ideas yet. <laughs> Today's horror movie festival is proud to present Welcome to Freak Street, Freaky Freaks. My mother's a freak, your mother's a freak. Freaky Ruziki, freak, freak, and freak again. Plus the all-time horror movie classic. What the heck are you thinking? Turn on a light, stupid. Meanie, great announce. You got zip, sparkle, flare. And the constitution of a contortionist in a sardine can, sir. <laughs> You know, I think it's time you worked in the theater. I'm giving you a chance for a big promotion. Oh, oh well, well, thank you, sir. <laughs> I've been brushing up on my management training guide. <laughs> I won't let you down. Ruling. Attack of the Zombie Woodworms is about to end in Theater 13. Clean it out before the next show. And watch out for theater hoppers. Oh, if I catch one. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie woodworms. It's just a movie. Some kids leaving all the seats, catty walkers. <laughs> Zombie worms! <laughs> Freeloader trying to hide in his seat for a second showing of killer zombie woodworms, huh? <laughs> Hoppers than you have tried that one, crying boy. I didn't become a manager in training five minutes ago, you know, Buster. No, no, listen. I'll pay to see 
another movie. Just don't make me go out in the dark. Your money's no good here, Woodpecker. You're a theater hopping, movie grubbing lowlife, and when my boss finds I've kicked your sorry tail feathers out, he'll promote me for sure. Huh? <laughs> Intergalactic in your hindquarters, Woodpecker! Meanie, what are you doing? Going Woodpecker wrangling, sir! Step aside! Just need to find a nice, peaceful place to hide. The happy cults of Rocking Horse Island. This should be perfect to settle my nerves. Ah, <sighs> sweet sweetness everywhere. Cole, get off that screen! Oh, I'll stop that no good theater offer! Sit tight and out of harm's way, sir! could get me over my fears. <laughs> what happened to you, bub? Beanie! Yep. Know just what you mean. She's been after me all night. Here I am, sir. The little theater hopper got away, but I'll find him. You'll never get a promotion in my theater, Meanie. Not only did you tie me up, you've broken nearly every rule of customer relations. You've... You've... She scared the daylights out of me. Frightening customers! She wouldn't take my money. Refusing service! And, and most of all, you've... She was disruptive when others were trying to watch the movie. Oh, disrupting the movie going experience! She did all that? Oh, please, don't report these incidents to the theater chain, Mr. Woodpecker. It could mean my job. Well... If there's anything I can do for you. Anything? And today's feature, Citizen Woodpecker, Jurassic Woodpecker, Woodpecker and the Tramp. You know, Meanie, you got the best movies in town at your theater. I wonder who picked them. <laughs> I'll just use my lifetime free movie pass for a ticket to every flick. I'll be watching out for you, Woodpecker! Mark my words! I won't be in this booth forever! Inga smorgasbord with my din din. I'm coming, Inga. Special pizza delivery for Dr. Wallenstein. Hmm. Oh, 
won't you stay and have a morsel with me, Inga? Thanks, but no thanks, Doc. I go for the short, red-haired type. About this tall, don't you know? Well, what do you know? A perfect fit. Oh, oh my! <laughs> Hello. I'm an Inga. <laughs> Yes, who? Oh, Woody. I'm off at 11. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> <laughs> I never get the girl. <laughs> they all think I'm just boring. <laughs> eh, quit your blubbering. <gasps> <clears throat> I guess some of us got it, and some of us don't. Then maybe you could show me how to be more cool, yeah, cool Woody Packer? Sure, if you'll put me up. I'm not going anywhere till 11. <laughs> you rang. Show Woody to the guest room. But be careful with his head. Follow me, buddy. Mm -hmm. I'm not her type, eh? We see about that. When Inga comes back, she gets the woodpecker's body, ya? Yeah? But with me inside. Your body will make me irresistible. I am a cool woodpecker, yes, I am. <laughs> Now I get that Inga girl for sure. Hey, Meatball! You talking to me, Woodpecker? You're a disgrace! Look at you, pompadour falling, feathers ruffled, waddling like a chicken. <laughs> Inga will never go for you. Now let me out of here so I can help you. <gasps> no way, Woodpecker. Ha! Forget it. Now we'll see who gets the girl. You bet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about doing that cute little laugh of yours? <clears throat> never mind, never mind, stop! Pack me something out of food, then, okay? Yeah. Uh, pack? Oh, yeah, uh, I am Woodpecker. Watch this. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Hey, ho, what do you know? I'm from the Bad Date Intervention Bureau. I've seen some bad dates before, bub, but yours is off the chart. Yeah, it's not going so good. What I do? You need a hat. Now go get her, partner. Yeehaw! I'm a cowpoke, y'all. Look at me, Inga. Oh, I love a cowboy hat. Ah, I'm a girl. Oh, since when did I have tusks? Ah, oh, Pooey, I never did look good in chartreuse. But I'll bet this will confuse the doc just long enough so that I can change into something more comfortable. Namely, me. 
By Imini. Inga likes me the way I was. Better than this dumb bird's hood. You bad. It's the family curse of the Hikapukters. <laughs> no! Phew. It almost destroyed my best Swedish meatball trophy. <laughs> my grandmama says the only cure is to stand on your head and drink a glass of water. Whoa! Oh, let me help or I'll never get any sleep. Now, let's get you into those boots. Hey, this is gonna work. Then we'll both get some sleep. Trust me. Okay, I trust... Oh, Ferd! <laughs> <laughs> Pack. Uh. Get off of me, you <laughs> ah! Wait a second. Aunt Fern used to cure her hiccups by holding her breath. Hey, Wally, buddy, I know how to stop your heek and duper poopers. No way, Woodpecker. Your antidotes are too dangerous. I'll cure myself. Hmm. Eh, uh, you couldn't cure a ham, Wally. <laughs> Hold your breath. Hold it. My Aunt Fern swears by this remedy. <laughs> That's it, Wally. Hold it right there. Hey, Wally, say, Wally, what time you got, Wally? Well, it's a quarter to... Skunk! Hold this and your breath. <laughs> Hold it, Wally. Hold it. I promise you don't want to whip this stuff. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? I broke the curse of the Hinkle Hoopa Whatchamacallits. <laughs> oh, that does it. Stay away from me, Woodpecker. You're a curse. <laughs> you, you're worse than any Hickapookters. Okay, fine. I know when I'm not appreciated. Good night! <laughs> What's this gonna take? Boo. Ah, oh, Ferd. Boo. Oh, Ferd. So, he wants to scare the hiccups away, hmm? Well, then I'm just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> oh, it's no use. Uh, 
Oh, the end is near. Oh, least I still have you, my pride and <coughs> shining joy. Scaring him doesn't work. Holding his breath doesn't work. Drinking water upside down doesn't... Wait a minute. These Heakin poopers are so bad. Maybe I gotta do all three cures at once. Dad! Woodpecker! No! It is the only thing I got left. The sun's coming up, Wally. Neither of us has slept a wink. I'll let her drop if you don't stop the hiccups! Holding raft, check. Inflatable raft, just add water. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that should do it. Say, I'm from the Book of World's Records, and I hear someone has a record-breaking case of the Hika Poopters. That'd be him. Well, if they are truly record-breakers, I'd like to present the lucky victim with this check for one million dollars! A million dollars? Why, sure. He's got the super-duper Hika Pooper thingies. <laughs> I'm his agent, and I'll need a cut of that cash when he... You get nothing, Woodpecker! I give you a world record, Hikapukta. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> okay. Guess I'll go see about that guy on Maple Street who can whistle with his toes. Wait. Yeah, please. Wait. No, wait. I can do this. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Well, at least now I can finally get some shut eye. Ah, finally. Sleep. The Hika Poopters. Oh, no. What do you know? Lunch is served. <laughs> Hands off, wise guy! I'm taking a mail order course in Asian studies, Japanese, Chinese, Korea, the whole leg roll, and I will not be interrupted by your. Oh, now who could that be? It's my correspondence karate course. Says here I need a training partner. <laughs> and you're it. No way. Uh -uh. Woodpecker, I'll give you a year's free rent to train me for my big test. Did you say a year's free rent? But you must do everything I tell you, Mimi-san, for obedience is the way of the woodpecker. To learn perfect karate rhythm, you must cut sushi rolls to the beat of ancient music. Use the strength of your wrist to flip the sushi over your shoulder and onto this plate without looking. Like a crane in flight. Perfect. Right there. 
No, no. For the balance of the crane, you must lift your right leg like the crane. I mean left wing. No, right arm. I gotta get cable. Using the ground to break your fall was a masterful choice, Mimi-san. When are we gonna start kicking butt and taking names? First, you must learn concentration. <laughs> Focus, Mimi-san. Focus. Yes, Master Woody. Yes, Master Woody. Yes, Master Woody. Ah! Woodpecker, this is ridiculous. I don't see any of this stuff in my training manual. You better train me like it says in here or no free rent. Uh, attack like the silent cobra. Okay. You go hide in your house. When I come in, you try to sneak attack me. Oh, now we're talking, Woodpecker. I'm a cobra! Chummy, is that cheese for Wally Walrus? Nope. Says here it's for Woody Woodpecker. Have a nice day. I love a good stinky cheese. <laughs> yeah, you can hide, but you just can't run, Mimi. Taught her too good. She could be anywhere. You can run, but you can't hide, Woodpecker! I see your training is going well, Miss Beanie. I am here to test you. If I don't pass, no free rent for you, Woodpecker! Buddy, I need help. I'll give you my whole collection of kung fu movies on Betamax, but you gotta fight her for me. No can do, Woody-san. The test begins now. Well, then there's only one way to play this. <laughs> you have no courage. You run like the nose of my sister's baby. Your red vein is mine, infidel! Cyclone of Death, A+. Plus. Thin wheel of pain, most impressive. Tightrope of terror. A plus again. I must say, you are an amazing training partner, Woodpecker-san. Yeah, it's all just wax on, wax off. You know what I'm saying? Actually, no. Woohoo! Mimi, you passed the karate test. That's a year's free rent for me. I should have taken French lessons. <laughs> Hey, put that back. Whoa. 
It's not my fault, your judgeship. She's a nutcase. I tell you, it's him, your honor, with his peck pecking and... Order in my court! This is the third time this month you two have been in for disturbing the peace and destroying city property. I'm ordering you both into therapy until you learn to get along. What? I am Dr. Von Brain. Welcome to my clinic. <sighs> Is this gonna take long, Doc? The hockey playoffs are on TV and... Some of us want to hear what the good doctor has to say about how crazy you are! Now, first, look at these cards. If you say, for instance, tree, good. Broccoli, maybe. Cow riding a bicycle, <laughs> you're cuckoo. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know! A woodpecker getting flushed down the john! A woodpecker flattened by a steamroller! A dinosaur eating a woodpecker! But I got a copy of these from my den. You're nuts and you're going down, Meanie. I must consult my medical journal, Mr. Woodpecker. I'll be back. What are you up to, Woodpecker? Now, Doc, she's attacking me! Meanie! Ah! Stop! <laughs> Help me, Doc! What is the meaning of this, Mr. Woodpecker? <laughs> you had two doors. Who knew? Oh! I also have two patients who need deep, deep therapy. <laughs> Secondly, we will have you do the art therapy. You are to create an artistic expression of how you feel. When you are done, ring this bell. I will look at your artwork and then fully understand what is going on inside your little brains. Ha! It'd take a whole museum full of art to understand your brain, woodpecker. Ah, my cool inner feelings are just straining to be let free. Ah, oh, what do you know? It's the inner me. I wondered where I left it. Responsible for this. He is. You two simply cannot be left alone together. There is only one solution: aversion therapy. These helmets monitor everything you're feeling. Woody, go ahead and pinch Miss Mini. Yes, sir. I'm gonna love this therapy. <laughs> You see, the helmet sensed your hostility and told a hidden nozzle to spritz you. Ha! Serves you right, Woodpecker! Ah! Oof. You see, the helmets will keep sending you reminders whenever you aren't getting along, okay? <laughs> I now leave you to be cured. What are you so happy about? I have self-discipline, Woodpecker. Nothing you can do can get me riled up. Oh, what's your problem, you raggedy rent gouger? Hmm. This must be what gets the signal from the helmets. Now, when I feel like clobbering Mimi, I won't get it. She will. <laughs> hey, Woodpecker, what's that funny-looking thing on your neck? Oh, it's your head! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 that stuff it, you screwy walking feather bed! <laughs> Man, this sure isn't working like I wanted. Aha! So the woodpecker's trying to liven things up, is he? All righty. This is for drying your laundry in my microwave. <laughs> this is for selling my bagpipes without telling me, you penny-pinching cactus 
loving loony excuse for a landlady? Oh, yeah? Well, this is for buying it back and serenading me at 2 a.m. Well, I think they should be cured by now. <laughs> My clinic! Oh, no! Woodpecker, you look like a drowned rat! Crazy Woodpecker! Crazy Woodpecker's crazy landlady! Look what you did with your crazy Woodpecker landlady kind of fighting! I... Hurt, I... <laughs> Well, I guess there's one thing we can agree on, Mimi. That doctor and his therapies are crazy! Yep, I am world-renowned commercial fisherman, Smedley Hook'em and Keep'em, the Salmon King. And I'm just about to reel in another big one. <laughs> well, I'll be. I ain't never seen a fish like you before. What are you, some kind of hairy? A pike? A halibut? Hold on one lure fleckin' minute. You ain't no fishy. You're a penguin. A self-respecting commercial fisherman always tosses back the little ones. Time for this angler to get back to the cannery with the catch of the day. I know what you're thinking. A world-renowned fisherman and a pilot, too? Yup. I'm what you might call a renaissance man. <laughs> it's kind of drafty up here in the wild blue yonder. Huh? Drafty and noisy. I'll just switch on the autopilot whilst I go have a little look-see. a non-penguin flight, so I'm sending you back home. Air mail delivery like. Huh? Hmm. Thought I had this baby flying perfectly level like. Now I know I've heard that sound before. Persistent little penguin. Goodbye. A hard-working commercial fisherman needs nourishment to sustain his strength. I swear, it's getting so a man can't even have a moment's peace to enjoy the fruits of his labors. Stay out, you freeloading fish napper! <laughs> ah, nothing like rewarding yourself for a job well done, I always say.
Will I be a Marlin's mama? I never knew penguins could fly. <laughs> That boy is positively starting to fry my flounder. And stay down this time, you little salmon swiper! Ten. Nine. Huh? Okay. One and lift off. You know, a skilled pilot sure would be lost without his trusty map. I better employ my old fashioned plane splitter. Okay, you little seafood snatcher, the jig is up. You come back here and take what's coming to you, you tuxedo wearing garment. That's funny. Almost feels like I'm running downhill. Holy mackerel! I plumb forgot to turn on the autopilot! Uh-oh, I pulled the wrong lever. My precious cargo! I lost my precious cargo and nearly lost my plane. This is all your fault, penguin. Gonna bait and hook you when we get down from here, boy. What the? Hey, come back here, you little deserter. West Lapland Dog and Crayfish Show. Now, let's see if I've got everything. Chips, soda, water, fruit smoothie, ice mango surprise, peanut butter crackers, T-bone steak, microwavable cheesy wheeze, fan, heater, room theater, pillow, blanket, beak warmer. Perfect. Ah, everything I need for complete comfort. Hmm. Huh? Ow! It's just a feather. to the 357th annual West Lapland Dog and Crayfish Show. Talk about perfect timing.
ingenuity. That's the last time I come over for Christmas dinner. She makes her way to the winner's box. Just in time to see Molly take home the gold. Hmm, too hard. Uh, hmm. Uh, now this is living. <laughs> Say 50 bucks? I'll take these two on a cruise they'll never forget. 50 bucks? And uh, did I mention I'd be taking the kids off your hands for the whole day? A whole day, huh? Hmm. It's a steal. I mean, a deal. Thanks, Uncle Woody. See ya. Bye. Bye. Rest and relaxation. Here I come. <laughs> and little woodpeckers, there you go. 
So long, suckers. <laughs> wait for us, Captain Buzz. Huh? Here, wait up. Captain of this here boat. Aye, aye, Captain. What's our first order, sir? Oh, yeah. I'm feeling chilly. Give me my coat. <laughs> hey, maybe this ain't gonna be so bad after all. Now swap the deck. Uh, there's no mop, Captain Bice. A good sailor learns how to make do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a life. Oh, cabin kids! I'd like my sushi now. Oh, I hate being a bait. <laughs> being the bait's better than being the sushi. <laughs> Sticks. It could be worse. How? We could be caught in a horrible storm. Uh, is he okay? Yeah, just let him sleep. So what do we do now? I know, I know, I know. Let's build a two-man shelter to protect us from wild animals. Yeah, just like we learned in Woodpecker Scouts. What about him? I say he's on his own. Yeah. Me? <laughs> What's that? Who? Oh, where am I? Mommy! <laughs> Who is it? Um, it's Captain Buzz. Toss me down a line, sailors. Only holds two. Sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the mountain lions bite. Mountain lions. Oh, this is good. Hi <laughs> ho, oh, kids. What's on the menu for breakfast? <laughs> for your own food, Captain Buzz. Uh, let me use one for bait, then? <laughs> Can't be wasting precious food for bait. Gotta use yourself for bait. What? Forget about it. <laughs> I'll get my food somewhere else. <laughs> I can just... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'll be the bait. Marinara, please. Oh. 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 Nope. Something caught Buzz. Hey, look! We We're saved! saved. We're, We're saved. saved! Uncle Woody, Uncle Woody! Whoa! We knew you'd find us! What happened to Captain Buzz? Captain Creep, you mean? He didn't look out for you? We did just fine without his kind of help. <laughs> Over here! Wait for me! <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Get me out of here! Hurry! Get this tub moving, you two! You heard Captain Buzz, now move! Sure, Captain Buzz, we'll get the boat moving. Under one condition. 
And what's that? That you swab the deck. Oh, no. No, no, no. No! Back, back, off! I'm allergic to being a seafood food! Oh, no, please! Leave me alone, will you? Wow.